Welcome to RAW Online Teaching Program. I am Dr. Monica, your Pediatric Faculty. So, today's video is going to be a shorter video focusing mainly on the stages of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. So, this is a frequently asked in a OSCE pattern or in the need super speciality examination. So, we will just focus on the what are the stages of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. In general, if you see Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, that is HIE, is one of the most serious complication of the newborns because of perinatal asphyxia. And particularly in term newborns, this is the most important birth complication. So, moving on to the etiopathogenesis, just a short note on what are the factors, both maternal, uh, fetal and also the placental factors contribute to the uh, development of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. So, if you see maternal factors, Hypertension that is maternal induced PIH and uh, infection including chorioamnionitis, hypoxia because of pulmonary or cardiac underlying causes in maternal diabetes or maternal vascular disease and in intro exposure to cocaine are all leads to the hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. And second is the placental factors like abnormal placentation because of abruptio placenta or any infarct in the placenta, fibrosis or high drops will lead to the uh, HIE and also uterine rupture causes HIE complications. Umbilical cord accidents such as prolapse umbilical cord or entanglement in case of true knot and cord compression will result in acute cerebral hypoxia that leads to the hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Also abnormalities of umbilical vessels which leads to the one of the risk factor. And fetal factors includes anemia, infection, cardiomyopathy, high drops and severe cardiac respiratory insufficiency. So, these are all the factors that contributes or the risk factors for the perinatal asphyxia. So, coming to the staging, the staging of HIE is given by the Sarnat and Sarnat staging. So, actually it includes almost 19 parameters uh, to be addressed. So, to make it easier, I just divided into groups under one common heading so that you will be able to remember it and you won't miss out anything. So, in that way, uh, first uh, group of uh, uh, parameters included are the CNS parameters since it is hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. So, first predominantly we have taken the CNS parameters. In that if you see, they have taken the level of consciousness, neuromuscular control, muscle tone and posture as the parameters. So, based upon that, uh, the HIE is divided into three stages that is stage 1 which is mild, stage 2 moderate and stage 3 as severe HIE. So, based upon the level of consciousness, if you see the, in the first stage, the baby will be very hyper alert or irritable and they will be having uninhibited and or sometimes over reactive neuromuscular control. A muscle tone remains to be normal and they have mild distal flexion that is posture is also remains to be almost to the normal. So, this is regarding stage 1. Whereas in stage 2, you can see the level of consciousness slightly coming down that is the baby would be lethargic or uptended. There will be diminished spontaneous movements, a mild hypotonia will be noted in the muscle tone and there will be strong distal flexion. In stage 3, the child will, uh, the newborn will go to a stuporous or the comatose stage. There will be completely absent spontaneous movement. The muscle tone will become flaccid, that is pith to frog appearance the newborn will look like. And there will be intermittent decerebration posture the newborn may go because of increased cortical activity. So, these four things will come under the CNS features. And next moving on to the reflexes. <laughs> 